What's up guys, Sense Gracia here and today I'm going to be showing you how you can install the official leak Jelly Bean update for your Samsung Galaxy S3. Now my Samsung Galaxy S3 is not rooted so um, if, if yours is not rooted as well you can use this method or even your SGS3 is rooted you can use this as well so it doesn't really matter alright so first of all all you want to do is to just download the zip file that I'm gonna be providing in the link and make sure you have Odin installed on your computer if you don't have it I'll be providing this uh, as well alright so now first of all you wanna just uh, unzip it and once you unzip the file you will get the .tar.md5 we're gonna be using that one to uh, install the uh, firmware so alright now you want to do is to just open up uh, Odin so let's open that up right now let me just minimize this there we go oh. alright click yes and there we go alright now what you want to do is you want to go to uh, download mode so Turn off your phone. All right. Let's wait for it to turn off. And now that it's off, all you want to do is you just hold the power button, the volume down, and the home button. So all at the same time. So three, two, one, and this will bring you to download mode. All right. Now that we're in the download mode, all you want to do is you just uh, press the volume up so alright there we go now you wanna get your USB cable micro USB connect it to the S3 make sure it's connected on the computer as well alright we'll just wait for that um, to install the driver on the computer and once you've seen that that means that we are now connected alright so all you wanna do now is to just check PDA here yeah and then click that <clears throat> now if you go to the uh, zip file that we did earlier so there we go all you want to do is to just double click and press uh, start now do not unplug your uh, cable so let me put this on the side so you can see what's going on Now this is the uh, Poland update, so just to let you all know. And if you've got the uh, AT&T or Verizon, do not install this uh, firmware, otherwise it's going to break your phone. Alright, so it's initializing firmware update start. Now it's starting to uh, update the phone. So it's going to take a few minutes for this to actually install everything. Always make sure you have backed up everything. And seriously, if, if something happens to your phone, it's not my uh, fault because you know I've tried everything to uh, give you what's the easiest way to update your phone so something happens it's not really my fault all right now you gotta remember that once you break your phone now that's gonna void the warranty unless you probably have insurance then they'll be fine I guess all right so man I'm so excited to see the jelly bean action on the Samsung Galaxy S3 because man 1.4 um, Exynos quad core processor so it's gonna work really really nice right now I'm gonna be uh, fast forwarding this video so once it's nearly finished then we'll be back from there alright so it's almost uh, finished and it should just wait for a few more seconds and it should reboot the phone so there we go recovery image modem bean there we go alright 
completed and we passed and it's now booting up all right all right there we go it's just getting everything ready so succeed one failed zero so that's pretty good all right and we should go to the startup image or startup logo all right now this one's gonna take a few minutes as well so uh, because it's getting everything ready and set up we have to do the setup as well so I'm gonna be back once we're on the uh, setup page oh, actually here we go and is upgrading might as well stay all right all right so it's optimizing app so app 46 of 109 there we go 64 65 now you see this is the only thing I hate when I have to upgrade my phone because gotta do all the backups and everything now I know I mentioned that you have to make um, a backup now it's just in case but I'm not really sure if um, this is gonna delete all my um, files but I guess not because it's optimizing app so I guess it's gonna delete all of it unless you're probably coming from the custom ROM then I think that's when you're gonna have to uh, factory reset everything so but since I'm using the uh, stock ROM so I guess that's why it's not gonna delete all my apps right Android is upgrading <clears throat> and it's now starting the apps all right there we go okay and we are done I guess okay all right I'm gonna pause this for a sec and be back so we can have a closer look on the jelly bean update all right so here we go guys uh, there we go okay so it didn't really um, uh, deleted all my files okay let me just turn this up okay now one thing I've noticed already is the position of all the um, icons over here okay looks a lot smoother okay so far so good all right okay there we go the can now have the folders as well so wow that's really nice really smooth look at that and you can see that the uh, folder is actually a little bit different as well there we go okay so wow look at that really really smooth that's all because of the project butter works so well and there we go blocking mode that's new as well home screen mode so that's pretty new alright now this is just gonna be a closer look I'll give you a uh, review about this so Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean there we go alright there we go we are now running Jelly Bean on this alright really really smooth guys wow alright so there you have it guys that is a how to install Jelly Bean on your Samsung Galaxy S3 now make sure to tune in for my next video as I'll be talking about what's new about this so there you go thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one